Welcome to the Ultimate HTML and CSS Crash Course, where you'll be learning everything about HTML and CSS from complete beginners level to more advanced and complex stuff. We'll be building different projects at the end of this crash course. So if you have no idea what HTML and CSS is and you're looking to start from the beginning or you just want to brush up your memory on HTML and CSS, this is the right video for you. If you're excited for this crash course, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to this channel because this is going to be awesome. Now, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So what is HTML? HTML basically stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Now this is where some people get it mixed up. HTML is not a programming language but a markup language. Why is it not a programming language? Because we can't use HTML to solve technical issues. So HTML can't write if-else statements like um, languages like JavaScript, Java, Python and so on. HTML is just a markup language. So imagine you have, um, okay, let's take the human body, for example. You have the skeleton, the body, and you, the body performs some functions. So the skeleton would be the HTML. Now the body, the way the person looks like, would be designed using the CSS and the functions would be enabled using a programming language such as JavaScript, Python, um, C++ and so on. So HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language and the version of HTML we're going to be learning in this crash course is going to be HTML5. Now HTML5 is the latest version of HTML. So there are previous versions of HTML such as the HTML, HTML4, um, XML and so on but HTML5 is the latest version of course it comes with new upgrades because it's the latest version which I mentioned earlier HTML5 has a new and semantic structure for creating a web page now what this means is that before like if you check old sites the source code for old sites you see the most they created most elements using divs now they assign classes and IDs to these divs. So when they want to create a header, they create a div and give it a class on ID of header. But with HTML5, we can create new semantic tags such as the header tag, the footer tag, um, a side tag, and so on. Now HTML5 has a very new doc type declaration. Also, HTML5 has new form elements and input types so there are new form elements such as the email um, the email field um, the number field so that when you so that you can only input numbers so if you type in a letter and click submit the form won't be able to go through also you have the range input so you can select a range next thing um, HTML5 can validate our forms from the client side by using some easy methods. So, HTML5 can validate forms now. All you just need to do is assign the required function. So, you assign required function to your form and this becomes validated. HTML5 has new audio and video tags. What this means is the multimedia tag. So HTML5 has new tags for multimedia. Before, there was no standard multimedia element. So if you check old sites and you want to view a picture or watch a video, you need to use Flash Player for that. But with HTML5, you can look at the image or watch the video without Flash Player, which I mentioned in the next point. Also, HTML5 has great elements called Canvas where you can draw images with some easy methods. So you can draw images or you can create a text, a text animation using Canvas. So these are the new functionalities of HTML5. And in this video, I'm just going to be showing you how to create, uh, 
how to create a file using VS Code and we'll be moving on from there. Hello everyone, welcome to your first HTML CSS Crash course. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to create a HTML file and also how to use VS Code. So the first thing we're going to do is to make a folder. Now you can make the folder anywhere you want. So I'm just going to open a new folder over here. And I'll create, okay, I've already created a folder called HTML and CSS Crash Course but doesn't have anything in it. So just create a folder real quick, then you right click and open with VS Code. Now, this option only appears when you have VS Code, which seems basic. So download VS Code and let's jump right into it. So your VS Code should pop up and okay, any moment from now. So the first thing you want to do is to um you want to make you want to install live server. Live server is like um an extension. It's basically like using Chrome, but whenever you save something on your index.html or your HTML file or your JavaScript file or your CSS file, it automatically appears on your browser so you don't have to refresh your browser to see what you've done. So just check for live server. Okay, you can see live server over here. So just check for it and you install live server. So with that aside, so the next thing we're going to do is basically create our index.html file. So you can see the functions of live server over here. It has a bit of demonstration. So you see whenever they make a change and save it, it automatically refreshes the browser. So that said, let's go back to this place and create our file. So we're just going to create an index the HTML file and I'm just going to increase the font a bit and I'm going to close this tab because we don't really need it so the next thing we're going to do is to generate our boilerplate now the good thing about um, Visual Studio Code is that it provides a shortcut to create a boilerplate. So just um, use the exclamation mark and click enter. It should generate this boilerplate for you. So basically, this doc type is telling us that this is um, an index that HTML. This is a HTML file rather. So this, tell, this is telling us this is a HTML file and the language is going to be in English. Now this is for making our web page responsive and this is going to be the title of your web page. So I'm just going to name this, um, let's say HTML and CSS crash course. Save this and okay, let's just test out the live server. So you just right click and open with live server. So you can see the title over here says HTML and CSS crash course. So that's all for this tutorial if you did enjoy this tutorial smash the like button and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching